Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Hey, a quick uh, reminder that the Sandwiches of History, the cookbook, is now available for pre-order on Amazon. Makes a great gift. Uh, and after all, who would want to receive the 43rd most popular book in gastronomy history and burgers and recipes category? I know I would. Okay, let's get into today's sandwich. Uh, today we are going to be making the catch of the season sandwich from Something New in Sandwiches of 1932. It was sent in by Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Um, what's interesting is this book does not have sandwich in any of the sandwich names. They're all these sort of like esoteric things like catch of the season. Um, and that name will make sense for the first part of the sandwich. First thing we gotta do, toast some bread. Now we're gonna melt some butter. Now we whisk in some flour and cook it for a minute or so to get the raw flavor out. And we add in some whole milk. Now according to the recipe, we'll wait until this bubbles and then we'll add in the rest of the milk. And season with a little salt and pepper. Now we make some scrambled eggs. Now into the scrambled eggs, we add in pureed tomatoes. Not ketchup, not chili sauce, pureed tomatoes. And now to some boiled shrimp, we add our white sauce. Now to assemble, we put our shrimp with white sauce on one piece of buttered toast. Top that with another piece of buttered toast. Then our eggs and tomato. And top that with the third piece of toast. Well, I'll give them credit. This is a new idea in sandwiches. <laughs> okay, let's give this catch of the season a go. I like all the things in here. Eggs, tomato, shrimp, white sauce. Um, it's not very interesting, you know? It's not really greater than the sum of its parts. I do want to plus it up and I want to do two different ones. On one, I'm gonna use a plus up that Christine suggested, horseradish. On the other, I'm gonna use J.O. Spice, which is basically a more intense version of Old Bay. Okay, let's give the catch of the season plus up with a little prepared horseradish a go. And that is quite good. It's like a shrimp cocktail sandwich now. Okay, let's give the uh, catch of the season plus up with the J.O. Spice a go. That is also good, but in a very different way. Got a little bit of heat, a lot of great flavor in there. Red pepper, black pepper. It's just really tasty crab seasoning, and it goes really well with everything in here. But now I kind of want to try them both at the same time. I'm gonna add some prepared horseradish to the J.O. Spice version. Have both. That's right. Double plus up. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's give this uh, catch of the season plussed up with both the J.O. Spice and the prepared horseradish a go. All the flavor of the J.O. Spice punched up with horseradish, and it's going really well with the eggs, tomato, and shrimp. I think we can all agree that this was a new idea in sandwiches. Um, I'm not sure why they called it the catch of the season. I know it's got shrimp in there, but it also had eggs and tomato and... None of the ingredients were bad, they were tasty stuff, and together they were fine, but they didn't really build into something much better. Um, so I would say the original catch of the season sandwich is probably about a five and a half. Um, plus up with the J.O. Spice, to me that's easily a seven. Plus up with the horseradish, that's easily a seven. Plus up with the J.O. seasoning and the horseradish, eight and a half. That is delicious. I am definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I would make this again just because of all the different things you have to do to put it together, but man, this is tasty. Definitely got lunch today. All right, see you tomorrow.